This particular region, to me, just seems kind of haunted in some ways. The cypress growing out of the water the way they are, the water lilies where they are, and then the Spanish moss hanging the way it does. It doesn't look like any other place in the history of photography. Look at the shape of that. It's just feminine. It's like a, a beautiful dancer in a skirt. And in the right kind of light and in fog, it becomes a total mystery. Keith Carter is no stranger to the intimate hidden corners of Texas. As a photographer for the past 50 years, his black and white images have been portals into small towns across the state. More than a decade ago, we visited his dark room in Beaumont, but today, in a canoe in Caddo Lake State Park, Keith is in constant pursuit of a new perspective. There's a difference between looking through the lens and then looking at the world. Um, I mean, the world doesn't have a frame, so it's a whole different experience. Sometimes it's a surprise. I look for surprises and light, always light. Keith's latest book, Ghost Light, explores the transformative power of light in the tangled depths of southern swamps. He has hiked, waded, and paddled, camera in hand, in search of something often overlooked, something seen around Caddo Lake. After I'd worked on a number of projects, I thought I'd really love to photograph what's tangled and dark and deeply beautiful, but you have to look hard. It's elegant, it's asymmetrical, it's slightly haunting looking, it's slightly surreal, and it's the earth itself. There's so much going on here. Texas itself is a mythological state. I mean, it's different things to different people. It's a magical mystery tour to me, total magical mystery tour. Keith Carter can spot the wisdom that is nestled beneath dappled light and dangling moss in Caddo Lake State Park, but he also carries with him a lifetime of lessons that only art can teach. You never get tired of thinking how lucky you are or how thankful you are to have the opportunity to be here or to see. When I was younger, uh, I, I was probably more careful. You know, I, I wanted people to like my work uh, and I wanted to do it correctly. Uh, as I've had more experience and grown older, I really don't care about whether it's correct or not. I care about, is it evocative? To some people, making photographs after a, a number of years of doing that is almost like breathing. You pay a heightened attention to the world if you're using a camera. That doesn't change anything or make you a whole bunch of money or whatever you're looking for but it changes you, you pay attention. And it makes life beautiful, really beautiful. <laughs>